What's up guys, it's Vaping with Mr. J here, and you know what time it is. It is review time. We are going to be reviewing, or I am going to be reviewing, the Through Night Catapult V6 in dark green. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, because I rarely ever wear hats, I lost my fucking hair tie. And my hair is just, it, it, it doesn't want to be tamed today, apparently. So, hat it is. I mean, at least I'm wearing camo. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. What do I think of the Through Night Catapult V6? I absolutely love it. I think it's a great little light. It's small. It's compact. It comes with a little holster. <coughs> Super bright. Uh, I think 1,700 lumens. Uh, yeah, 1,700 lumens because my Bushnell Pro is 1,500 lumens. And then my Through Night T1 is also 1,500 lumens. But uh, we'll go ahead and get a double tap for you. Well, first, we're going to go ahead and run through the mode so that's slow. Hang on low medium and then high and then if we go and that's 50 or 1700 lumens at 140,000 candela um again the battery um i might have to get hang on let's set this right here i have to get some more so the battery is a through night 5000 milliamp hour 18.5 watt hour 26650 with a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and 4.2 fully charged so you know this guy is cranking out some serious power um so we're gonna go ahead and run through the mode so obviously if you hold it while it's off you get firefly which is good for low lighting situations now if we uh turn it on it's like all the way down to low, hold it, bumps up one, hold it again, and there's high, and then, yeah, so, and if you hold, if you double, and then you go into strobe, um, strobe is, hang on, might have to pull up the sheet. Is the eight plus the one? No, it's not. Um, I think strobe is like twelve hundred lumens. Um, so yeah. But um, really good light uh for the price. It's eighty six dollars shipped. Um, through Amazon with Prime, you can get. Well, I don't know if you still get it. Um, I think they were doing a short limited time uh, run on it um, if you ordered it before a certain day uh, and you order it with Prime you can actually get free delivery um, so yeah that was that was pretty good it came in like I said really quick uh, definitely used it a lot for uh, different stuff just playing around with it went out to the boat launch uh, lit up the tree line um, over across the river and then I lit up and animals fence because they have like a little reserve there and i was pretty far back and i'll post a picture uh two pictures at the end of the video showing the beam shot and then the uh the actual distance they can reach um so we're gonna go into the distance so they claim 750 meters which is 820 yards or converted to yards it's 820 and converted to football fields that's 8.1 football fields american football fields so it's got a decent range on it um i was really surprised when i got it and like all the guys in the group like when they found out like i ordered one they're like dude you're gonna fucking love this flashlight i'm like yeah that's what a lot of people have been telling me um that i looked at some reviews before it came in um and i was super impressed with the beam distance and everything um but it's a good light um I would have to test the runtime on it. I really don't want to test the runtime in turbo just because it it tends to heat up and even at like 950 lumens, it's the, it still gets warm. Not as warm and it takes a little bit longer to get warm, but it still gets warm, so. But uh, most of the time I just use it either on low or medium, unless like I'm trying to light something up um, like that's far away, then I either use 900 or 1700. Um, but it's a good little flashlight. Um, I would recommend picking one up. Um, they also, uh, now sell the Through Night T1 in a dark green. I wish I would have known that before I ordered my Through Night T1 in, uh, the desert tan. 
um, because if I would have gotten the through night catapult V6 first, and then I seen the, the T1 in dark green, I could have gotten the T1 in dark green and have matching flashlights. But it is what it is. Um, I'm happy with my purchases. And like I told y'all in the unboxing of the uh, through night catapult V6, uh, I'm more of a streamlight guy, but I'm starting to lean more towards um, through night because some of their products are just a little bit cheaper as far as it goes and you get pretty much the same quality um like this guy right here um the protac hl5-x which is a really good flashlight actually it's a 3500 lumens yeah 3500 lumens but it also has a lower candela so it's more of a flood flashlight and that was, I think, $135 um, or $130, something like that. <clears throat> I went a cheap flashlight. Um, it did come with two 18650s. They high drain 18650s that are USB rechargeable. So that was nice. And then obviously, you know, I have my little, I have this guy right here, which is the Coast Polysteel 650R, which is recharge. It comes with a rechargeable battery pack. And then I ha have this uh, far point, and then like this side right here is my rechargeables. The rest are just regular battery-operated flashlights. Um, but going back to Through Night Catapult V6, uh, what would I rate it? Honestly, I'm I'm going to give it a fairly high rating. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 because it's been a really great flashlight. Hasn't let me down yet. Uh, I will come back in two months, so stay tuned for that. But um. I would recommend it uh, to anyone who just needs a super bright flashlight around the house. Say you live out in the country like I do. I mean, I'm five miles out of city limits and surrounded by cane and woods. And we have coyotes out here. So I need something that's going to light up for a good ways. I would say for at least 8.1 football fields. I don't need anything that will reach out to a half a mile. <laughs> because I just don't need something that bright. Um, I just need something to be able to see in front of me and do some spot checking. So this light works good for that. I, I also have a uh, spotlight um, somewhere down there that's rechargeable, but I don't use it that much. I prefer handheld lights, although the spotlight is nice for other shit. It's the spotlight's like I think 600 lumens, but it's pretty bright. Um, I like it. Uh, but yeah, all right, so. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, so if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be alerted when I upload new videos. Anyways, I am Vaping with Mr. J, and I am signing out.